Hello Tarot viewers, welcome to our Timeless Oracle reading. And our Oracle card for today belongs to the Shaman's Dream Oracle by Alberto Villoldo and Colette Baron Reid. Now the title of the card for today is Netcaster. Preparations come to fruition. It's uh, interesting when you look at this card. This is a well-dressed lady as if dressed for a special occasion and yet you see her casting a net okay um for me this card speaks of nurturing our intuition sometimes like for example this lady she must be on her way to go to a very formal uh, occasion see her well dressed you see her that she's well dressed for a special occasion and yet suddenly her intuition somehow maybe we'll just try to make a story here now. it's as if the, her intuition suddenly asks her to do something that is uh, quite uh, different from what she was planning to do but somehow she felt that she has to do it like for example she's on her way to a special uh, social event and then suddenly she had this uh, intuition to cast a net that she saw by the road so it's like that no it's it's like that i mean uh, when sometimes uh, we find situations in our life where uh, you're you find deep within you that you have to do something and it seems to be out of the occasion but somehow deep inside you felt you had to do it somehow when i look at this picture it's like that it's uh this lady listening to her intuition and uh trying to respond to the promptings of her intuition even if she was planning to do something else okay you know it's like that um because i feel that the netcaster invites us to find ways of nurturing our intuition uh, to nurture our intu intuition to develop that gift that we received especially if you feel that uh, there are stages also in our journey wherein uh, our intuition starts to evolve faster than they usually do and the best way to nurture especially in those moments to nurture our intuition is to practice using our intuition to practice responding and listening to our intuition uh, to develop our intuition is also like learning how to ride a bike you will only learn how to balance you will only learn how to ride a bike smoothly by constantly working by constantly using the bike by constantly trying until later on you would realize you are already you already know how to balance you already know how to ride the bike the best way for you to develop that balance at first you might be a little bit uh, shaky but as you continually use the bike you later develop the skill of riding the bike it's the same with the intuition it starts with a little bit uncertainty especially in the beginning when uh, you the promptings of your intuition sometimes uh, seem to not be in in balance or in corollary with what your logical mind would tell you but the first thought usually one of the ways to develop our intuition is to immediately respond to what comes first into your mind and by experience it is only by experience that you realize that uh, how to respond to to the promptings of the, your intuition and also how to distinguish when it is your intuition who is giving you some advice or some warning there will be moments when your intuition will tell you to cast the net or to immediately respond to a certain event or to immediately do something or to immediately consider something that seems to be an ordinary thing as already a message from the universe or a message from the divine or a message from your angel guide sometimes you're just walking along the streets and suddenly you find a feather and immediately that feather is an assurance for you in a personal way an assurance for you from the universe to tell you that you are not alone and they and then they are accompanying you at this moment of your life it can be that a certain pattern in the bark of a tree can immediately send you 
the answer or the message to what you are preoccupied at this present time. And the only way for you to develop that, that sensitivity, that ability to immediately respond and to immediately identify if your intuition is already picking up a specific message that is very important, is to constantly respond to your intuition, to constantly use your intuition, to constantly exercise listening to your intuition and to develop your intuitive muscles. And another thing also, uh, it's not only in the positive sense. Oftentimes the intuition would tell you things that will surprise you in a positive way. Like for example, uh, a certain number or a certain a set of, of repetitive events suddenly leads you and to a certain thing that is very positive and you realize that your intuition was somehow guiding you in making life's choices. It can be also that in a negative way, they also protect us. Like for example, you were in a situation and you suddenly, a situation that seems so innocuous or a certain relationship that seems so innocuous, but somehow deep inside you feel that you must get out of that situation. Or sometimes you feel that you must get out of that kind of relationship because deep inside, even from all external purposes, things look, look positive. Your intuition is warning you already that something is not right. And another way, you need to respond to that also. And the only way to do that is to listen, especially if it is suddenly comes into your mind. Sometimes you will know. And the only way to know it is to constantly respond and to constantly listen to your intuition. So. This is what I feel right now that the card is telling us. The best way for us to develop our intuition is to constantly respond to it, to constantly be aware of it every moment of our life. And by constant practice, this intuition, our intuitive muscles will continue to develop and continue to evolve. Now to understand more fully and get more insights from this card, we will try to read from the handbook that accompanies it. Netcaster. Preparations come to fruition. A surprise, a result beyond expectations. The netcaster arrives to tell you to stop praying for the fish. They have arrived and it's time that you cast your net. Lest they swim away. Everything that you long for is within reach. But it has been so long since your prayers were answered that you have forgotten how to receive what is being offered to you. Put down the prayer beads and open your arms and your heart to reward, to rewards beyond measure. Cast your net. Take the next step that you have been planning for so long. Remember that the fish wait for no one, so time is of the essence. Heaven and earth are in perfect alignment for your victory. The stars are positioned for success. The only one who can spoil the perfection of the moment is you. If you ask, do I really deserve this? You will sabotage the magic and shatter the crystalline flaw flawlessness of the now. The netcaster can also arrive to bring, arrive to bring you bad news to tell you that you have been snared in someone's trap and must wriggle free. Right now, it feels comfortable enough, even as the net begins to tighten around you. Do not wait until it is suffocating you before realizing you must escape and run for your life. It is still early enough to exit gracefully. Bide your time until all the conditions are right Go to your place of stillness, of deep quiet, and watch for the signs that a new opportunity has arrived. Right now, you are patient because you feel that things will go your way. Learn to be patient with the people and situations that are more challenging. Well, this is our reading for now. I invite you to constantly use your intuition and constantly trust it and constantly learn from it 
the best way to learn or the best way to nurture your intuition is to constantly listen to it. Okay, well, that's our reading for today. I hope it has benefited you. I look forward to seeing you again. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.